Giga Texas, which is the biggest factory in North America, I think possibly the biggest factory in the world. And it's, it's three times the size of the Pentagon to give you a sense of scale. And so if you've got an ACE on economy, like you, if you sort of maximize your, your ACE level on, on technology and you maximize your ACE level on scale, this is obviously going to be the most competitive situation. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has made a plan for the Giga Texas factory to dominate the U.S. EV market in particular and the world EV market in general. So what exactly is his plan? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to Tesla Car World. If you're new to the channel, please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on exciting episodes in the future. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started on today's content. Tesla is planning another expansion near Giga Texas as it collects more land for new projects in the factory area in order to realize the goal of producing about 2 million EVs per year. Accordingly, Tesla has applied to build a giant new facility to produce cathode materials for battery manufacturing, next to Gigafactory Texas in Austin. This project is listed as being on a parcel of land next to the Colorado River and would have an area of nearly 1.6 million square feet. Drew Baglino, Senior Vice President of Engineering said, we're gonna go and start building our own cathode facility in North America and leveraging all of the North American resources that exist for nickel and lithium. And just by doing that, just localizing our cathode supply chain and production, we can reduce miles traveled by all the materials that end up in the cathode by 80%. In an update on its progress in producing its new 4680 battery cell previously, Tesla confirmed that it has already deployed battery manufacturing equipment at Gigafactory Texas and that some are already in operation. The company also shared that a cathode manufacturing facility next to the factory would localize more of the battery cell production and could help achieve greater volume. Moreover, Giga Texas is also expected to produce more than 4 million 4680 battery cells in a week, enough to power about 5,000 EVs. It's even estimated that in the near future, Tesla's Giga Texas can produce up to 20,000 Model Ys per week. The cathode production facility will support Giga Texas to reach this goal. Besides that, according to recent documents filed with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Tesla is currently developing plans to build an $11 million, 220,000 square foot warehouse across the Colorado River near Giga Texas. Construction on this building is scheduled to begin on June 1st of 2022, and the company expects to complete it on June 1st of 2023. It would make a great place for Tesla to organize the various streams of incoming parts and store inventory as it works to improve the availability of parts for its rapidly growing deployment of Tesla Model Ys and other models in the future. In fact, the Giga Texas factory expansion plan is part of the Tesla Master Plan Part 3 of Elon Musk. Accordingly, Tesla's CEO revealed that Master Plan Part 3 is all about achieving very large scale in order to shift the entire energy infrastructure and transport infrastructure of Earth, there has to be a very high scale. We have to ask, what is the actual tonnage? If we work backward from, let's say, about 300 terawatts per hour of installed capacity in vehicles and stationary, or battery packs, then how do you achieve that tonnage from a mining and refining standpoint, but also do so in a sustainable way? Also, in this plan, Tesla is devoting all resources to investing in equipment and machinery to produce electric vehicles at Giga Texas. For example, the huge die casting machine, the Gigapress. Now, Giga Texas owns four Gigapresses with a maximum operating capacity of 73.1 tons per day per machine. They have a cycle time of around 80 to 90 seconds, which translates to an output rate of 40 to 45 completed castings per hour. IDRA Group is a Tesla supplier that provides the automaker with ultra-large gigapresses. Most recently, this Italian gigapress manufacturer has been teasing an upcoming 9,000-ton giga casting machine for the last couple of weeks. IDRA posted a video of this giant casting machine getting assembled. This video was shared on YouTube. As this video started to drive a discussion momentum within the online Tesla community, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk ended the rumors by confirming that the world's first 9,000-ton gigapress is actually for the Cybertruck body. Elon Musk also said, With our giant casting machines, we are literally trying to make full-size cars in the same way that toy cars are made. 
Last year, IDRA Group announced that they had secured the first order for an 8,000-ton gigacasting machine from Tesla, and the company has started working on this project. But the general manager of IDRA Group, Ricardo Ferrario, confirmed in his message at the time that this 8,000-ton version is for the Cybertruck's large underbody castings, not the body of the electric pickup truck itself. On top of that, Tesla is also completing the final stages of the Cybertruck design and preparing for production next year to bombard the electric pickup market. In a recent interview held at Giga Texas, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk shared some details of the process of creating Cybertruck and gave more precise dates for the start of production. Cybertruck has become something completely new in the automotive market and no one has even ventured to create something like this before. An origami-style body, single-piece front and rear cast, and plenty of technology to make it as productive and comfortable to use as possible. The team got too carried away with improvements and at some point had to acknowledge this and approve the final design so as to not continue it indefinitely. Musk did not go into detail but hinted that Tesla added a number of new features that were not in the original prototype and that they wanted to add even more. Musk said that at this point, the Cybertruck The design at least finally is locked and we're meaning the company was able to give a more detailed indication of when it would start production. It was previously known that this was supposed to start sometime in 2023, but now Musk has said it should happen in the second half of next year. He did not say if the final design will be presented to the public and if so, when. However, for many customers, it doesn't matter, since minor design improvements are insignificant for them and they just want to get their long-awaited Cybertruck as soon as possible. In conclusion, Gigafactory Texas was constructed and designed following the company's success in Gigafactory Shanghai, Tesla's first outside of the US electric vehicle plant. This suggests that Giga Texas, once fully ramped, would likely dwarf Giga Berlin in terms of output and sheer productivity. And with that, today's episode has come to an end. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.